Pride and Prejudice, MCQs. Mr. Binet's property and estate earned him dash a year. Correct answer is 2000. Mrs. Phillips was Mrs. Binet's sister. Mrs. Phillips resides in Longbourn. Elizabeth, anxious about Jane, walks the dash miles to Netherlands. Three miles. At Dash residence, Elizabeth becomes aware of the extreme hypocrisy of Bingley's sisters. Bingley's residence. From Dash talk is revealed the accomplishments of a lady during Jane Austen's time. Miss Bingley. Elizabeth borrows Dash carriage to take Jane and herself home the following day. Mr. Bingley's. Who after Mr. Binet's death will inherit the Longbourn state? Collins. Mr. Collins was a clergyman. Dash has a dominating personality, Lady Catherine de Borough. Mr. and Mrs. Binet live with their five daughters, Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, Kitty and Lydia at Longbourn. When the novel opens, they are discussing the Recent rental of a nearby estate, Netherfield Park, by Mr. Bingley. Mr. Bingley, a bachelor possessing four five thousand a year, was to settle there before Michael Mass. Michael Mass is an annual feast day and quarter day in the calendar of the Western Christian Church. Michael Mass is celebrated on September twenty ninth. It takes its name from the Archangel Michael, the leader of Haman's armies and the angel who defeated Lucifer. Mrs. Bennett is overjoyed with the news, for she feels Bingley will certainly marry one of her daughters. And she prefers the handsome Jane or the good-humored Lydia. Mr. Bennett casually remarks that he will inform Mr. Bingley of his consent to his marrying any girl he chooses, though preferably Elizabeth. The novelist quietly establishes the main situation, the arrival of Bingley and the need to marry of the Binet girls. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Mrs. Bennet is silly and shallow, yet we approve of her concern of her children. Mr. Bennet is sensible, has a sense of perspective. Mr. Bennet calls on Bingley as soon as the letter arrives at Netherfield. The first ball was held at Netherfield Park and is a great success. Mr. Bingley returns with two sisters, one brother-in-law and a friend, Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy has fine, tall personality, handsome features, noble bearing. Mr. Bingley is lively, friendly unreserved and dances freely. Darcy coldly says that Elizabeth is not handsome enough to tempt him. Jane was the center of Bingley's attention at Netherfield Ball, much to Mrs. Bennett's joy. Jane Austen is presenting the traditional 18th century romance where a man and a woman fell in love with each other promptly. Bingley is easygoing, open and agreeable while Darcy is clever but haughty, reserved and fastidious. Jane is not very discriminating in her judgment of character. Elizabeth, on the other hand, is able to see through their conceit. Jane is pleasant rather naive young girl who thinks that the whole world is as decent and simple as she is. Her intelligence has no depth. Elizabeth is revealed to be realistic, intelligent, 
and frank to the point of bad manners, she possesses a unique perspective ability to see into the nature of all people. Jane Austen develops two sets of constraints, Elizabeth and Jane on one hand, Mr. Bingley and Mr. Darcy on the other. The first contrast is achieved largely through dialogue. The second set of contrast is Jane Austen's over discussion of two young men. The Lewis's family lives at Lewis's Lodge, a short walk from Longbourn. Sir William Lewis is inoffensive, friendly, obliging, and courteous. Lady Lewis is a very good woman, though not clever. Lady Lewis's several children, Charlotte Lewis, a sensible, intelligent young woman of 27, is the eldest. Elizabeth comments about Darcy's insulting remarks. I could easily forgive his pride if he had not mortified mine. Charlotte expresses that if a woman conceals her affection with the same skill from the object of it, she will lose the opportunity of fixing him and it will then be but poor condition to believe the word equally in the dark. During Jane Austen's time, a lady was supposed to be well versed in music, dancing, drawing, and languages. The contrast between two ways of writing means the contrast between two kinds of personalities. Darcy writes carefully, slowly, while Bingley writes rapidly without thought. Mr. Collins was a clergyman. He is tall, heavy-looking, young man of 25. He was Mr. Bennett's cousin. Lady Catherine de Borrow was a wealthy widow with an only daughter. This young lady unfortunately suffers from indifferent health. The purpose of Collins' visit to Longbourn was to win all was to win one of the Bennett's girls as a wife. They encounter an officer friend, Mr. Denny, who introduces them to a newly arrived colleague, Mr. Wickham, a young man of good looks and pleasing manners. The first volume ends at a very black moment, all seems destroyed or threatened, Charlotte's marriage to Mr. Collins seems to be undeniable evidence of the economic forces. So far, the situation is stagnant because of the distance separating Bingley from Longbourn. However, with the arrival of the gardeners, the plot begins to move again. The gardeners are a sensible couple. They are amiable, intelligent, respectful, and vastly superior to the other relatives of the Bennets. Jane Austen's favorite theme was of self-education. Colonel Fitzwilliam is about 30 years old, and though not good-looking, has pleasing manners and is liked at the personage. The theme and subject of the novel is marriage, good marriages, and bad marriages. The difference between Jane and Bingley relationship and Elizabeth and Darcy relationship is that Jane and Bingley love each other but they lack the understanding and maturity of Elizabeth and Darcy. The marriage of Darcy and Elizabeth was a couple of good, happy marriage according to Austen's concept.